If y'all had a chance to watch that Schlage A-Series removal video, you might be feeling a sense of loss because we did not finish the lock. So that I'm going to do right now. On these old A-Series, they did have this little disc in the back of the lock to, well, where are we? There we are. Hey, had this little disc in the back of the cylinder to prevent dirt from getting into the keyway. So on those, always be careful to put it back and we're gonna shim it you got a old half of a shim here if your shims start getting rough on the edge take a pair of scissors I use these dollar all-purpose shears from Harbor Freight snip that little end off and it'll make it much easier to much easier to shim so I use a key blank. You can use a pick or anything to lift the tumbler, tumblers, the <laughs> the pins, and just go through. Now, if you have security pins in here, you're gonna always run into trouble trying to get that shim to move through. But these schlags did not. Uh, other ways that other things that will cause trouble is dirt uh, lack of use corrosion once it gets to the number one cut you can kind of just back the back the key in and out a few times like this real quickly to get it to turn and we're gonna grab a follower yank the shim out after we turn the core chose some old logo Schlage keys that I had to match the lock and this is eight what is that eight three nine eight eight so we're gonna dump the pins and we're gonna lose one eight three nine eight eight which is oh I didn't dump a pin there Whenever I'm dumping pins, I always do that. I'm just have it. Oh, okay, where were we? Sorry, the phone rings and that stops my video. So 83898, which is uh, 285, 210, two, or 300, and then two, two more 285s. Well, two, 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 two. All right, shear. Check, check. Whenever you don't have the cap on the back, I always put your thumb there to hold it in. Otherwise, you'll be springing, springing springs everywhere. Put that in, put our disc in. There's a beveled side and a flat side. It doesn't much matter, but I always have the flat side facing up. Put your retainer pin in and tighten the cap down. Tight, I always tighten down all the way, back off one, and then back off one more notch. Now that's wholly dependent on the cylinder. Some cylinders you gotta back off two or three times, but you can feel it when you're trying to pull the key out. Like here, if it gives a, a lot of resistance there, tighten the cap down one notch, check it. Okay, we've got some resistance turning the key, so that means that was too tight. So let's back it off. Two, one, two. Okay, key's really hard to come out, so there is a exact spot there that we need to be in, which is that. And sometimes you need to check on the upper pins to make sure there's not too long a pin so if you have a really long key pin and a really long driver it can cause that but this one's just due to the lack of use so we're gonna go run back over here to put the camera in so we'll do that hope you can see and When you're holding it in your hand, I usually push in on the, re the latch retractor and then turn the key because that releases the 
the pressure off of the spring and you don't have to keep keep tension on the key push in push all the way let that go and then just kind of push it as far as it'll go until you hear it snap and check your key and that is it so just doing that to give you all a sense of closure <laughs> And that'll go in my truck for use on the next one. Got a Georgian and a Plymouth. One thing about these Schlage locks is because of the design of the guts and the generations of changes that they had, like this button, when you push it in, it won't stay in. This button, when you push it in, it stays in. When you turn the knob, it pops out. And unfortunately that makes it so on these style, you can't just push it in a lock, you gotta push it in and turn it. And when you turn the key, it won't pop back out. So that is one uh, thing that goes on between an exact same kind of lock, but just different years. Um, the, this was a changeover. This one is probably the earlier version, and then this was the later version. And they may, it may even be different models altogether. I'm not sure. They were kind of, it was kind of a wild, wild west with those back then. So that's it on that. Okay, guys, just a quick clarification on that last part. I went to find out exactly, because they do have an A55 PD, which is called a dormitory, but it always used a different button to, on the inside, it has like a, a depressed button instead of it sticking up like that. But this is a A53 PD Claremont, which is like a black crinkle finish. Obviously, it isn't made anymore. And when you go, you see the button won't stay in, so you have to push and turn. And then we've got one that's pretty much equally as old that has the same Schlage logo, and that's kind of one way you could tell because they changed their logo over the years. And it's both faded out, but I don't, there's no other markings on it as far as the date. Probably this 1A1, whatever here. I'm not sure how that went, but I'm sure they can date it in the Schlage factory. But from about the same time period, we've got this one, A53 PD, and the button stays in or you can push and turn, but obviously that way was much better because it was quicker. The other one, when you lock it, you're, you have to turn the key to retract the latch and then just kind of physically push the door open. Whereas this one, when you turn the key, it'll unlock it and then you can turn the knob. I don't know, people that have those that have had them on their doors for 50 years, like them and vice versa. It's, purely a personal preference. I'm just curious as to why Schlage did that. And I know I've taken a lot of these apart and that inner housing, the latch retractor part has, has one minor modification that makes it do where the button stays in. So I'm not sure why they changed I'm sure they changed it maybe as an option. So this one has to be a little bit earlier and then this one has to come right after that, I would think. So anyway, that's that. That's really that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>